Christian Horner is so full of it. It is unbelievable. Now, guys, we're going to go through just a quick interview with him here now, right? And I'm going to translate for you, okay, into actual English and what he's really saying here. I've spoken already. I don't think there's any issue between, you know, certainly for Max's side. He's not going to change. He's a wouldn't have a problem because he got away with his dirtiness in Austria. And you have to remember, guys, Verstappen, yes, he weaved. That's racing. Norris lunged, and they call it dive bombing. I've never heard that term in the racing world, but now all of a sudden it's a big thing. But still, now that's okay. Perfectly fair racing, but when Verstappen starts to try and take you out on the outside of the corner three times in one corner, that's a problem. And Verstappen knows it. Red Bull know it. They know they got away with it, but yet Max is the big man. He's not going to change. What did I say in my last video? Max Verstappen will not change. He's going to keep doing it again and again and again and again until someone actually goes up to him and squares up to him face to face, not necessarily violence, but at least he'll know that this guy means business. Verstappen has zero respect for anyone on that grid right now because he can do what he wants and no one will do anything to him, right? It's as simple as that. If someone actually went for Verstappen, he'd have a bit of respect for them at least. So there you go. He's not gonna change. Tough race, if you race Max Verstappen, um, and, and there's an element, I think, of Lando learning how to race Max. He's gotta learn how to race now? Lando Norris has to now learn how to race Max Verstappen. Now, are you saying that he's so above everyone else, Christian, even Ayrton Senna maybe, or Michael Schumacher maybe, is this what you're on about? That he's gotta learn? now? Don't, doesn't everybody in the Formula One and motor racing world in general, don't they always say that the backbone of racing when you start is actually in carts? That's where you learn your race craft and then you progress up the ladder because that's what it was for me in my day and everybody else's day. Even Formula One people say the same thing. But now he's got to learn how to race Max? Um, and I think you know they're, they're just discovering that all. Uh, and, and inevitably, there's going to be more close racing between the two of them Christian's got a big smile on his face. Now, isn't it amazing the way, though, he was unhappy on the team radio after the Austrian Grand Prix? Did you hear him? Did you hear how, oh, I just I can't believe it. Now, this is the same guy that was bitching and moaning about Toto Wolff and Mercedes when Hamilton and Bottas had the, the adjustable steering wheel, right? When it was coronavirus time, the first round was in Austria, and all of a sudden, they had this adjustable wheel and everybody's freaking out. Christian Horner running to the FIA complaining and everything else. He complained about everything that year. But yet only last year, he was the big man. He let things go and he was telling Toto Wolf, just change your fucking car. But he's got no problem now. If you've listened to any of my podcasts before, I can be incredibly fair to him. I can be incredibly unfair to him. I can be incredibly fair to anybody else as well and unfair. And I tell you now, he is so full of crap right here, right now. But at the same time, you know what? If I was in Formula One right now and knowing team bosses, he's the guy I'd want as my team boss. But the way he's carrying on here, terrible. <laughs> Walsh running the Irish green, and look at the move, he's making down to the inside. He moves to the front with the fifth, all the way to the lead in lap one. Walsh takes win number two. Peter. 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 Walsh. 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 Walsh.